uh, in order to do this, we will uh, go to project, functionality and activate dynamics and seismic, even though uh, we won't take it in uh, calculation the seismic force. We only need to do some model analysis and a simplified story level. So we know the fundamental period, the vibration period of your building and to see how it behaves the structure on different vibration modes. So uh, after I activate the dynamics, I have to create... Excuse me. Yeah. Yes. First of all, I have to define some masses. So uh, on dynamics, I'll go to masses and I will create some masses, some mass groups uh, based on your loads. So you already created them, I see. Self-weight, uh, map, walls, fertile, live stairs, domestic, office, live, mechanic, restaurant okay they are correct and now some combination of masses and you took them by one uh, in Eurocode uh, it's not necessary to take them entirely so there's some values and usually the life loads are not with one they are smaller they are either 0 0.4 or 0 0.3 for snow I would minimize the life loads to 0 0.4 because, uh, or we can leave it to one because you don't use seismic. So we leave them with one, considering the full mass. Uh, so it doesn't matter actually, because we are not going to define seismic uh, forces. Uh, however, we'll have to define story heights. And for this, I will need a bit your help. So in order for me to have lateral displacement for each story, I will need to define some uh, stories. So the first would be like this minus three. The other, and I think I'll use Excel for this. So uh, ground basement actually is minus three. And then the other floors I see ground floor actually this is top of basement which is zero then I have 3.2 and then I start with the floors so first Story, let's say and uh, let's see the height of it it's 6.4 which means it will be the height of 3.2 do you have 3.2 constant or you have variations here I see a variation so uh, I think I'll do like this to have uh, some help from Sia. I will create some uh, annotations to be able to have the height. What I need to do is to have a simplified model with the displacements in order to have some story displacements for your building. So we're going here to modeling dimension tools linear vertical. And I'll place some dimensions. I think I'll start from the top to have them on the outer part placed. And I'll uh, let only notes here. You can uh, 
You cannot uh, measure by select node and then show the dimension. Uh, I don't think that works like that. So I, I need this uh, dimensions. If you have them, it's good. If you don't have them, uh, I just have somehow to measure them and then translate them. Yeah. <clears throat> if I measure the Z of your node, I understand what you're saying. The problem is I only have the coordinate. I don't have the dimension. So it's not uh, the best solution. Now I'll just type them as fast as I can and then I, I'll be able to paste them. But uh, okay, from the beginning, so we say three, uh, and I should see in which order it wants. So now I have to go to the grid system. Stories. Oh, you already have them? Yes. Oh, okay. So I don't have to work like this. I didn't see them. Where are they placed? I need to see some description for these levels to make sure you did correctly. Because if you already have them, it's easy. I didn't know you created them. Uh, but I don't see where are the labels uh, of the stories. Because uh, I... You deactivated them? Or where are they? In that... Can you activate them? Yeah. Oh, maybe modeling. Yes, in modeling, you deactivated them. Yes. Okay, but they are not correlated. <laughs> it's not correct. They are not correct. Because uh, there were modifications. Maybe we can just. Uh, see where they are not correct and change them there yeah okay there are not that big differences so here uh, we will measure the difference six meters i don't think delta z it's five meters. Excuse me. Uh, yes. In the yeah, don't don't have uh, automatically like elevation. Uh, I can hear you. It's blocked when you said. But here it's thirty-three, and then. There was five, which is should have been okay. The problem is with our lasso <coughs> from 30 from here to here, we, sh we should have a difference of five meters, I think. Five meters. So from 104. So it's not okay to have so many here, I'll say 21, and here I can input 5, but it didn't fix, okay now it fixed I think, let's test, this should be uh, 
109.2 this is correct now I have to fi fix uh, the last two floors mm. four meters Four meters is correct, and uh, the last two point four. Okay, but I need an option on Okay, I think it will be okay, just one okay. The last if it's zero. Okay, and just to do a fast check, it should be 115.6. Yes, it's okay now. So I will save the model. And uh, what I'll do next is do a model analysis of your building to see some vibration period. And uh, then we can check the interstory drift caused by the wind. Because we don't have seismic uh, action. But we need to limit the deflection per story in order not to shatter the windows or the cladding system. So we'll use um. somehow the a seismic code uh, but uh, it's only to make sure that the wind won't uh, move your structure that much i expect it not to have any problems uh, but uh, we should check them so uh, now what i'm going to do is i made the combinations so uh, i will uh, run here the analysis but for analysis I also have to do some okay it's five here this is okay and the meshing is set to one meter it should be okay and now we have now the model analysis available so I'll hit okay <laughs> 